Hi, it's Azim again from redscore.com. We were building this uh, application where we implemented a new visitor event on our server. And uh, in this video, we will complete this server and uh, we will test the server using sockets serve.io tool to make sure that uh, everything is working. So first of all, let me create small function here const get visitors you guys know that uh, we are setting new visitor on our socket and uh, socket IO server keeps track of all these connected sockets so what we will do is we will query our socket IO server and uh, we will say that uh, you know what I want all connected sockets in this uh, socket IO server and uh, when we will get all connected sockets then we will get this uh, user from that uh, particular socket and uh, we will create array of all these users and then we will return array of these users from this function and we will use this function to get all online visitors on our website let's create our first variable client clients is equal to and uh, we will call sockets and then we will call clients and then we will call connected and this will give us object of connected sockets we will get the object something like this let me show you we will get all these connected sockets in key and value pair like key is the id of that socket that is randomly generated from socket io server so let's say id is one two and then we will get our socket object and then there is another connected socket with id one three and the object of uh, that socket and we want to retrieve all these values as an array so let me show you how we can do this let's sockets is equal to object dot values clients and uh, this object dot values function will grab all values in this object and create array uh, using those values and return us all connected sockets now we got our sockets now what we want to do is we want to get uh, visitors from that socket so we can use map function on this array to map this uh, sockets array to our uh, users array so let users is equal to sockets dot map and in that map function we will pass our callback uh, and we will receive value or socket in each iteration and uh, we will send s dot user from here now we can return this users array like this and let's create another function visitors in this function we will emit all connected users to all sockets so we will call io dot we will emit event visitors and then we will uh, pass the data that we want to emit and we will call this function to get all connected visitors get visitors just like this and now whenever new user is connected to our socket we will emit this event emit visitors so let me fire up the server node index.js A user is connected now let me clear this window 
and let's duplicate this window and let's fire this event this uh, red sign shows that our server is offline let's see what happened here okay uh, we made little mistake here this is function not object let me save it let's run our server and hopefully this will connect yep it will automatically connect to our server now let's try to run it again now our server is running yep server is running and we can listen this event now we are listening for this event now let's emit this event again and we got array of objects and each object represents online user so let's uh, connect to another socket and we can copy this go back create object edit paste it here save it now we should get our new user connected that's perfect and we can fire this event with different IP address and let's say let me clear this window let's uh, listen for that event visitors now let's fire this event let's fire this event so now we are getting two visitors see one visitor is from Lahore and uh, second visitor is from Karachi now if we close this window we are not getting updated visitors because now in our socket IO server there is only one visitor so whenever new user whenever user is disconnecting then we will fire this event again save it let me close this window now let's clear this fire this event let's duplicate this window copy this connect to our server and again I'm just going to copy this JSON paste and let's say Karachi again clear it we are listening for visitors event here let's listen it here again visitors perfect now let's submit again uh, we are getting updated visitors here and here now let's clear this window now if I close this window I should get message here yeah so whenever one visitor is gone we will update our other connected sockets that you know what uh, now we have only one visitor we will send array of uh, connected users and uh, our client application can use this information to update that view so with that our server is ready i hope you guys enjoy this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching